Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting and reading to episode 8 of D4DJ First Mix. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, Miss Maho. <laughs> Poor baby. You just need to talk to Rinku, babe. <laughs> Exactly, but because Maho is feeling some type of way. <laughs> oh, of course. You gotta feel bad for Maho. I I just want her. Either she's gonna do one of two things. She's going to confront um, Rinku about this. Or she's going to at least maybe um, talk to like somebody peaky peaky. Maybe Kyoko maybe. I don't know. I mean... Seriously. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of. <laughs> or she might end up talking to both Mooney and Ray. And those three will have like a conversation with Rinku and be like, okay, let's just talk this out and stuff. I mean, because they're a group and everyone's going to fight. I mean, freaking Kasumi and Arisa from Bandere, they fought countless of times. I really know. Arisa has said some ish and, um... <laughs> Uh, Kasumi is just there with her cute little self and <laughs> everything, even though I'm not a popping party stand anymore, and I'm a Rosalia stand. The moments between Arisa and Kasumi, I still love them. They're so cute and hilarious and they make me laugh because Kasumi is just such a happy-go-lucky baby and Arisa is just over here like, oh my god, like, no, you need to know the truth. <laughs> Yeah, you're making yourself stressed about this. You can't do that, you know? Just talk to her. Call her. Text her. Something. FaceTime her. Hmm? What's up? Oh. See, that's something I also do kind of want to see. But what I mean by that, like, you know how Bandari recently has done collab songs with certain girls and certain groups? Like, you had um, Yukina and Afterglow together. That's what I kind of want with this, just to see. But I'm guessing we're not going to get that until, like, later, later. Oh, Jen! And I don't remember your name. I keep forgetting your name. Maho, I don't really think so, but... <laughs> Maho. Yeah, exactly. It's just a game. But because Maho overheard me. Yeah. 
She's so precious. I love her so much. I just want, I want her card like so freaking bad. And my friend got her, and I was just like, ah. Oh, it's so cute. I can't, precious baby. Sure. Maho, seriously, don't beat yourself up about this. But she is, knowing her. Mm. Yeah, she's so going to beat herself up. Oh my god! Honey. Mm, you poor thing. Hmm? Oh. Oh. I feel bad. Just. Oh. <laughs> oh my god Maho I, I swear to you it's probably not what you think <laughs> I don't know I, I feel like if they have like five people that's when you need to make a band band not like a freaking DJ unit but <laughs> it's not that it's gotta be something else Um. Okay, yeah. Finish the song? No, she's just... It, it would be awkward for her. Maybe Riku should go see her. Since, you know, she went home to finish the song. <laughs> Alright. See, that's why I love her so much. Still nothing, huh? Don't worry, you'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, you poor baby. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Excuse me. Destiny, maybe? Or just a chance? <laughs> oh, See, but my hoe, you say that, and it's not, because, oh. Rinku, I mean that face. <laughs> oh, 
sheen of <laughs> And she looks like a cat. Oh. She's so precious. No, 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 no. I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> well, Maho, this is your chance to, you know, it's not Kyoko, but at least you can add somebody from Peaky Peaky, you know. Oh my god, you're so cute. <laughs> Look how nervous she is. Oh, babe. It's okay. You guys are in the same grade, so. See, that could possibly be a no. Mm, yeah. So, Shinobu, you're basically saying that whatever Kyoko wants, she's going to go out of her way to get it? Mm, no. Poor baby. No, she belongs with you guys. No. Mm hmm. Mm. Exactly. Whether that's making your songs better, performances, anything. Of course, could you found your own sound just like anyone else would? <laughs> She's so cute, I can't. Kyoko. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
but not as good as yours, of course, because she even said that. Well, because that's how you know she's passionate about what she wants to do. And she's taking it seriously and she wants to try her best to, you know, win you over. At least she's having fun. Of course, because not every audience is going to like something. Go, don't be hard on yourself. You tried. Be proud about that. And you just keep going and continue on it. Is it bad that I just want like a spin off of Peaky Peaky? Or like a OVA how they did with Rosalia? <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Peaky Peaky. Perfect. Mm She's so cute.
Huh? Look at him, my baby! He's so cute! Girls, <laughs> hmm? oh, Kyoko. Oh, my God. <laughs> hmm? Aww. Thank you. And that was in the shelf. <laughs> Look at Moody! <laughs> Moody just like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Told you it was all a big misunderstanding. <laughs> Episode. I hope Riku like hugged the crap out of Maho and then Maho would have been like because I thought you were gonna join Peaky Peaky then it would have been like even a bigger explanation <laughs> and misunderstanding at the same time but this was cute I'm glad that Shinobu was the one who was able to talk to Maho because she needed somebody to talk to even though this was an episode that mainly focused on Maho herself and then a little bit more on Peaky Peaky which your girl is like Yes, thank you, glad, because any, like, any other focus that any other the characters can get besides, um, Happy Around, because of course, yes, season one is about them, but season one is also about Fontan Maiden as well, and Peaky Peaky, like, where the heck are Fontan Maiden? I mean, we're eight episodes in, and these chicks ain't even popped up yet. A picture has popped up of them, but, I, I mean, does that count? Not really. I need to see them interact with these um eight girls but yeah this was a really cute episode i'm glad that shinobu was able to talk to maho about it i'm glad that maho you know used a song a brand new song and you know hyped up maho i mean our maho rinku and everyone else and then yeah even rinku making necklaces it was adorable it killed Ko's health like oh <laughs> Hold on. How is it that like when I talk about a character or characters or a unit, whatever for an anime, and then we get the preview for next week, and then it's like, oh hey, they're gonna finally show up and such. So now if I talk about Mermaid and Lyrical Lily next week, are Mermaid and Lyrical Lily gonna show up? Because they're the only two units from this show that haven't shown up. I, I feel like you know. Let's talk a little bit more about this game real quick, even though. Um, we're not really a year into this game. We're only really about almost two. Hold on, um, November, October to the November, whatever day, whatever day in October it came out to November, and then same thing. So about almost two months. Next month, next month, blah, blah, blah. next month we'll make three. Going into this game a year from now. Do I feel like they might add another group? Because at first, I remember when, like, Lyrical Lily, when they showed everyone except Lyrical Lily. And I was assuming that they would have did, like, they did with Benzidae when they were adding um, Roz and Morphonica, specifically, like, Roz. Like, they were going to wait until Season 2 came up, and then there would be, like, 
oh, here's Lyrical Lily, and here's Mermaid, or here's Roz and Ish, and, like, Ote ends up joining Roz for a certain amount of time, where she's on, like, a temporary hiatus with Popping Party, and then eventually, you know, Ish happens and stuff like that, and, you know, Ote's like, you know, my home is Popping Party, and it will always be Popping Party, and that's it. But, I, I'm, you know what, I'm glad that everybody is in the game, but still, it would make the most sense to put everybody, whether they want to put both Mermaid and Lyrical Lily in the backgrounds, would be fine with me. And I think anybody else who are fans of the other units that have not been featured in this show yet, because as I said, officially as of episode 8, every unit has been shown in this anime except those two. They could do what they did with Rondo with either Lil Kalili or Mermaid and put them in the background and be like, okay, if we're getting a second season, which because this is owned by the same people who did Bendity, I'm guessing they're going to do that. They're going to be like, okay, yeah, we're getting two more seasons of this show, maybe possibly a movie how currently like they're doing with um my my favorite group, Rosalia. I think like they're doing an arc animated niche and I cannot wait until that comes out but I mean yeah that's all I really want and I think that's what anyone wants but this was a really good episode I loved it for the themes and the lessons that we learned especially for Maho because she needed this but that little oh, seeing her cry at the end you just want to hug her and be like it's okay baby like it's all right like everything's fine now like Rinku's never gonna leave she loves being with you guys and being with you you guys started this together and you're gonna finish it no matter what like <laughs> even until you're like old and gray so who knows but yeah other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 8 of d4dj first mix if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next <clears throat> excuse me friday for episode 8 I'm about to say eight, nine. But other than that, have a happy holiday and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.